Welcome to CCCF Children's Sunday School. Today's stories are about Saul's failures to obey God. The first story is from 1 Samuel chapter 13, 1 to 23. The first story is about Saul's disobedience to God. The Philistines assembled a mighty army and as many warriors as the grains of sand on the seashore. Saul stayed at Gigel, and his men were trembling with fear. Saul waited seven days for Samuel, as Samuel had instructed him earlier, but Samuel still didn't come. Saul realized that his troops were rapidly slipping away. So what did Saul do under such pressure? He demanded, Bring me the burnt offering and the peace offerings. And Saul sacrificed the burnt offering himself. Let's review what we have learned from previous lessons. God established the sacrificial system 
which includes burnt offering, grain offering, peace offering, sin offering, and guilt offering. God ordains Samuel to offer sacrifices. Saul, however, decide on his own to make an offering to God. What did God say to Saul through Samuel? How foolish, Samuel exclaimed, you have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. Had you kept it, the Lord would have established your kingdom over Israel forever, but now your kingdom must end. For the Lord has sought out a man after his own heart. The Lord has already appointed him to be the leader of his people because you have not kept the Lord's command. The second story is from 1 Samuel chapter 14, 1 to 52. Saul's foolish oath. In a day of Israelites' battle with Philistines, the Lord saved Israel that day by helping Israelites to defeat Philistines, and the battle continued to rage even beyond Beth Avon. The men of Israel were pressed to exhaustion that day because Saul had placed them under an oath, saying, Let a curse fall on anyone who eats before evening, before I have full revenge on my enemies. Why is Saul's oath foolish? God did not tell Saul to swear such an oath. The oath leads Israel to sin against God by eating animal blood. For the life of every creature is its blood. Its blood is its life. Therefore, I have said to the people of Israel, You shall not eat the blood of any creature. For the life of every creature is its blood. The third story is from 1 Samuel chapter 15, 1 to 35. God rejects Saul as king. God said to Saul through Samuel to destroy the entire Amalekite nation. Saul and his men spared Agai's life and kept the best of the sheep and the goats and the cattle, the fat calves and the lambs, everything, in fact, that appealed to them. They destroyed only what was worthless or of poor quality. Now the word of the Lord came to Samuel, saying, I greatly regret that I have set up Saul as king, for he has turned back from following me and has not performed my commandments. Saul made an excuse that the animals were taken in order to be sacrificed to God. However, Samuel responded, What is more pleasing to the Lord? Your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice? Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. Rebellion is as sinful as witchcraft, and stubbornness as bad as worshipping idols. So because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. So what we learn from today's stories, be careful in making decisions, especially under pressure. 
it's foolish to make vows without understanding the consequences. Sacrifice can never be a substitute for obedience to God from our heart. Dear God, please help us to have a reverent heart to you. Help us to search your guidance under any circumstances. Help us to watch our words. Help us to understand nothing can be a substitute for obedience to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.